renovation of a kitchen. Thank you. Um, I am David Manson. I am president and CEO of the Children's Place. And this is Roxanne Hill, our vice president of development. Um, I'm going to let her do the heavy lifting, but I wanted to introduce myself. Um, before I became president and CEO about a year ago, I was a attorney here in Kansas City for about 25 years. And uh, I saw the need in my experiences uh, for an organization like the Children's Place, but not until I joined the board of directors and then make, became president I really realized uh, the magnitude of the need and how, how many amazing things were done at the Children's Place. Um, the Children's Place is a 30-year-old organization that provides um, therapeutic services for the youngest victims and survivors of abuse, neglect, and trauma in Kansas City. And uh, because of the um, number of children that are continuing to go into foster care and to state custody, um, our services are more in demand than ever before. And I just wanted to uh, tell you that we really appreciate your organization and what you do for Kansas City and giving us this opportunity to uh, present to you. Thank you. Good evening. Well, as David told you a little bit about um, who we are, I'm going to give you a little bit more information about the program and then speak to the grant we submitted. The PowerPoint that we're going to run throughout our presentation is just going to show you some pictures of our facility, our kitchen facility, which is the purpose of this grant, as well as some of our kids having breakfast on this particular date with a good breakfast, too. <laughs> um, we offer three main programs um, at the Children's <laughs> Place to, um, to achieve the, our mission. We have parenting support services, which provides training and support for parents um, and caregivers, and also provides certification training for people who are interested in being either adoptive or foster parents. We have our outpatient uh, treatment program that provides outpatient therapy to children eight years and under and their parents who have survived abuse, neglect, and trauma. And we serve the entire um, metropolitan area. A day treatment program is a multidisciplinary early childhood education program that serves children from six weeks to six years of age. Most of the children that come to us are referred to us from the children's division as a result of abuse, neglect, and trauma. This particular program is the focus of our grant request today. <coughs> the day treatment program can serve up to 52 children on any given day. The real number of children we serve per year is probably well over 100. We have children that do come in and out of the program throughout the year. The program combines an accredited early childhood education program together with behavioral, speech, and occupational therapy. We also have a psychiatrist that is on site once a week to provide oversight to some of the children who are on medication. Our program is required to meet Joint Commission standards, the same uh, standards that Children's Mercy um, has to meet, and we also are accredited through the National Association of the Education for Young Children. We provide transportation to and from the agency each day of the week. We run year-round. The children have breakfast, lunch, and a snack each day that they are with us. Each classroom in our program also has an assigned field trip day that allows them to enhance the educational curriculum, but also give them some of the life experiences that some of them probably have not experienced. Over 90% of the children that are in our care are in the foster care system. Most of them have been referred to us because of the severe cases of neglect and abuse that they have suffered. Our hope and our challenge is to intervene early in their lives and help them overcome their trauma, help them relearn what their life should really be like, help them understand that they can be safe, they can have food, and that not every single adult will cause them harm. We are, in effect, rewiring their brain so as to diminish the long-term long possibility um, of the abuse that they have suffered. Our grant submission is to seek assistance to renovate our kitchen and to upgrade some of our kitchen facilities. Since our move into our current location, the Brickside neighborhood, we about 20 years ago, we have not done a lot of renovations. So hence, our water system and our electricals need to be addressed. We currently do not have a dishwasher, and our hot water heater does not always provide enough hot water to wash the dishes and the pots and the pans and everything that we need to provide the meals to the children that visit us each day. Some of the refrigerators that are currently in place are about 20 years old, so they really don't have the capacity to hold the produce and the food that we are needing them to hold. By updating the kitchen facilities with the dishwashers and the electricals, um, we really see a whole lot of pos positive possibilities for us. Our facility clearly needs to be updated to allow us to work at the highest level of efficiency to meet the demands of our program. 
having an electrical system in the kitchen that is updated and safe is, is obviously an important factor given that we have so many children that come in and out through the day. Cleanliness is also a priority for the agency. A more efficient hot water system will allow us to have the hot water to wash dishes on any given day. The children we serve are very much at high risk. Some of them have not always <coughs> had the ability to have a hot meal or any kind of food on a regular basis. So it's important to us to be able to have the most efficient services um, so that we can provide them with that all-important meal whilst they're with us. With no dishwasher, we obviously cannot have dishes, so we're using styrofoam, paper cups and silverware, and plastic silverware. For some of our youngest children, the plastic silverware has become an interesting thing for them to chew through, which is obviously a health hazard. <laughs> so on any given day, there's an enormous amount of paper that fills the landfill from our agency. This past year, we really focused on becoming environmentally aware. We have installed um, a recycling bin on our premises. We have worked very diligently to reduce the amount of paper that circulates through the agency, and we have recycling receptacles throughout the building. So by giving us this grant, it's going to allow us to buy reusable plates and reusable silverware and, and, and cups and all the other accessories so that we are able to reduce the amount of paper that is going to a landfill from our agency and be totally green. Our grant request night is very much a one-time deal. The full amount that have, we have requested will take care of the entire project. Our focus each and every day is to care for the children who have had very little care in their short lives. Our programs, our efforts, and our dollars are all geared to ensuring the best level of care for the children. And by providing this grant to us, you're going to give us another opportunity to increase the services um, that our agency provides to the very youngest and most vulnerable members of our community. Thank you. And if you have any questions. Wow. Good job. Oh. <coughs> yes, we're at Brookside, 59th and Brookside Boulevard. It's got the big teddy bear. Yeah. yeah. It's a green building. <laughs> the old Wolfman's so building. currently on what you have uh, in there. Well, what, I mean, are you at the maximum limit on uh, the plumbing, electrical appliances that you do have? Yeah, if we if we don't update the electrical, we can't put the dishwasher in. We don't have, we don't have, it'll blow something somewhere in, in the building. And then even in the hot water as well, if we did get, if we update the electrical and we got the dishwasher, it still would not provide enough hot water to, to provide. And the refrigerators we have um, are really old. Um, some aren't necessarily working that well, and they're, they're just not very big. They're not, they just don't have the capacity for us um, to bring in, like on the, the colder months, so we can't get the fresh fruit and vegetables. We like to get some of the frozen items. Um, so the kids are getting a healthy meal. Sometimes it's the only healthy meal that they're going to get on that day. I, I guess I have kind of an odd question. Are you asking for enough? I mean, will this will, is this enough to really do what you guys need? Yes. We actually had um, electricians come in and plumbers, and we priced out all the items. Yes. Yeah, we have to the cent. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Nine cents. Anything else? Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay, let's do a time check.